Welcome back to Python Code Camp. Today, we are diving into the fascinating world of image captioning using Python. Ever wondered how applications like Google Photos can identify and describe what's in image? That's the power of image captioning. Image captioning is a process where an AI model looks at an image and generates a descriptive sentence. This technology is used in various applications like accessibility, helping visually impaired users by describing images on social media or websites, content moderation, automatically tagging and filtering inappropriate content, search engines, enabling more effective image searches by associating keywords with images, photo management, organizing your photo library by auto-generating tags based on image content, and most important one, surveillance. It can automatically detect objects, such as weapons like guns or knives, and trigger an alert. This makes it an invaluable tool in security and monitoring applications. Today, I'm going to show you how to use a powerful image captioning model from Salesforce called BLIP, Bootstrapping Language Image Pre-Training. Let's get started. First, import necessary libraries and modules. From PIL, import image. PIL is used for opening and processing image files. In this case, we use it to open the image that we want to caption. Next, from Transformers, import blip processor and blip for conditional generation. Transformers from the Hugging Face library provides the tools to load pre-trained models. Blip processor and blip for conditional generation are specific to the blip image captioning model. Next, load the processor and model. Processor equals to blip processor dot from pre-trained. Pass the model here, Salesforce slash blip image captioning large. Blip processor dot from pre-trained loads the pre-trained processor for the blip model. The processor handles image pre-processing and tokenizing text inputs for the model. Next, model equals to blip for conditional generation dot from pre-trained and pass the model salesforce slash blip image captioning large blip for conditional generation dot from pre-trained loads the blip image captioning model. Next, load the image. Image path equals to image dot jpg. This is the image we will pass to the model to generate a description. Next, raw image equals to image dot open image pat dot convert rgb. We open the image and convert it to the RGB format, which is the required format for most deep learning models. Next, prepare the inputs. Text equals to a photography of. This is an optional prefix for conditional captioning. You can customize this prompt to guide the model in generating more context-specific captions. Next, inputs equals to processor. And pass raw image text. And return tensors equals to PT. Here, the processor prepares the image and text for the model. It converts the input into the format required by the model. PT stands for PyTorch tensors. Next, generate the caption. Output equals to model dot. Generate and pass double star inputs. Model dot generate of double star inputs uses the blip model to generate caption for the image. This method runs the model's forward pass to produce a textual description of the input image. That's it. Decode and print the output. Print description. Processor dot decode. Output of index zero, skip special tokens equals to true. Processor.decode converts the caption from a series of token IDs into readable text. Output of index zero refers to the first sequence in the output. And skip special tokens equals to true. This argument tells the decoder to ignore special token, such as C, L, S, S, E, P, P, A, D, etc. These special tokens are used internally by the model, but are not relevant for the final caption. That's it, guys. Let's run the code. There it is. We got the output. A photography of a woman and her dog on the beach. This demonstrates how the model can generate a meaningful caption based on the image content. Notice how it accurately describes the scene. This is the power of image captioning using advanced style models. Now, let's load this image and see if the model can accurately describe the weapon present. Let's run it. And there it is, a photography of a man with a gun walking down a street. See how accurate that is? This method can be extremely useful in various scenarios, like surveillance, as I mentioned earlier. Now, go ahead and try this model yourself. Modify it according to your project's requirements and see how powerful it can be. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more exciting content. Happy coding.